Having a healthy investment account requires the same amount of work as having a healthy fit body. If you want to get to the Olympics, you have to put a plan in place. It takes hard work and good coaching. Being wealthy doesn't happen by luck either. At Brisbane Money Management, we have more than 50 years experience coaching people to their financial goals. It's never too soon to start. Start today. I'm joined here by Chris Faisal, the captain of the North Side. So Chris, you got Kedra Mabel today. Your thoughts on the game? Yeah, I'm um, looking forward to it. Uh, this is the first time we've had a full full squad. We've got a couple of injuries, that, uh, guys with injuries that have come back now. Um, we're only missing one player as opposed to three or four like the last few weeks. So um, I'm really looking forward to building on, on where we've been at um, and yeah, giving it a red hot shot today. And uh, how have you been travelling so far this year? Yeah, yeah, um, small steps, baby steps, you know, a new squad um, from last year. The guys are really enthusiastic, I've uh, been training hard and putting in the hard yards. We had a couple of good games. Score lines probably don't really portray the games that we've had, um, but you know, hopefully today we can go out, put it together, and we'll see how we go. Yeah, I think it's going to be a tough one. I think uh, we shared the points last year with them in uh, in the two games, so I'm sure they'll be up for it. We're sort of not too far ahead on the table, uh, so they'll be certainly looking for points uh, as as will we. So we'll see how we go. But it's it's going to be a close one either way. Yeah, you've picked up some extra players this year, which is obviously giving giving you a little bit more depth. So uh, how do you think you've been travelling? Yeah, I think we've been travelling uh, quite well to date. Um, unfortunately, we're without those players today, so we're down two of the sort of top guys. So hopefully, the uh, younger ones will step up today and sort of fill their role. But yeah, I've been more than happy with how we've been travelling. Been quite competitive this year, which is which is always nice. So as the game gets on and out underway, there's Brisbane Money Management Div One game between uh, North and Kidron Wavell. Kidron Wavell with the ball and uh, Buller just holds the ball in the back. Buller to here. trap comes out to the top. Good trap, Hamill goes low, Springfield was uh, sliding in there for a deflection, Buller's got time there, slips it left to Jenison, Tomahawk shot, saved there, well well saved there by the goalkeeper. That was a very strong challenge from Basil, Basil. Fletcher brothers combine there to create a turnover, but Buller uh, gets out of it, but he turns the ball over to Cowling, there's an opportunity on the right hand side, and uh, Umpires are having a little conference and the trailing umpire here just uh, helped out the umpire on the ball there. And there was good work from the, the brothers here. Buller tried to come away with it, but instead Fletcher. And then uh, the ball gets flicked up into him by... Danny puts it on the ground. Morris had that easily covered. Comes back out, slides the ball in, cut up there by Buller. He just says, there's the sideline. Oh, so the, go the game's all square, easy penalty corner, easy save. Pretty deep and Thorne's getting plenty of ball as a turnover here now and uh, Campbell goes forward, he's got Fletcher coming up quickly to give him support, Jenison's back there chasing him and shot at goal, a good goal for Danny Fletcher. Oh this is a fantastic bit of individual effort, great individual effort from uh, Jared Campbell, he gets the ball a lot of work to do, and he gets it past the keeper, Justin Morris, who's been having a good game so far. How the, it's James turns the ball over and again, Fletcher gets the ball, dumps it in field, North's got numbers in the circle, shot, and out past the left foot of Justin Morris, that's uh, Chris Mantel. And once again, a turnover, scores a goal, Chris Mantel gets the ball from Fletcher this time. And gets it past Morris. Beautiful goal. Hamill puts it straight onto Tommy Fletcher's stick. He throws an overhead to his brother. James came inside the five there, so good umpiring as Fletcher now drives into the edge of the circle and Buller shatters that well to give up the long corner. Oh, that's an interesting uh, decision. Good overhead and Fletcher brings it down beautifully. Yes, and he's got the ball. Gives it back to Buller. Buller, he's going to try to drive this into the circle, hits the crash ball, Moran gets a touch on that, good flick on goal, but covered there by Dick. So Ackerman on the uh, flick, comes out, gets it, good save there by Dick. It's a simple uh, penalty corner taken, and nice strike flick, but Chris Dick, easy save, got that uh, left boot out. Well picked off it. there, but Cowling now has the ball, oh, hits it straight. 
to Ackerman now with the ball, slips the ball to Springfield and he can't control it. Dick's under the ball, but Springfield gets the ball under Dick. And again, Ackerman, first time shot. Touch there off a player. Umpire's calling time. He's going to have a chat to the other umpire and I think he's going to see if he can work out what, what happened. I, if we have a look at the replay, I think there might have been a foot in there by a Kedron player. But, and it comes about there. But Ackerman and Springfield certainly had the ball out of the keeper's uh, pads and then got it in the back of the net. And the umpires agree. It is a goal. That's the first goal for Kedron. Makes it uh, North 2, Kedron 1. Back in the circle. Yes. Cox trying to work his way into the edge of the circle. Looks for a shot. Gets a good shot. Dick makes a good save and it's a long corner. Runs straight at Fletcher. Trying to buy a free hit. And... Uh, now gets it, runs straight at Chapel again now, and Chapel's inside the five. Buller's done it again, and he's trying to work another one, so he's got two. So, game's getting a little bit scrappy here, and the umpire's just going to take control and uh, go from there. So, Kedron now got an extra two players, as Hamels uh, got forward, has a shot, and missed on the left post there by by Ackerman. Well, good bit of work by Buller and then quickly taken on by Kedron. They're not mucking around. Find players in space and there's plenty of players now, but then Dan couldn't quite get the touch on. Comes out to the top, Hamill on the trap, spin to Jennison, looking for the flick. Straight through the feet of uh, Dick, I think, as he was coming out, or past his left foot. Well, nice little variation. Took the, takes the first run around of play. Dumps it off, and this makes it neatly past Chris Dick, even though he came out to shut it down. Top of the uh, battery, comes out. Went for something a little bit tricky, and a uh, little bit too tricky, but they got a uh, another corner out of that as the ball gets set, set up here. Comes out, Hamill behind his back, but he just missed time that, and Jennison slaps it in. So... Comes out to the top, Hamill's there. The spin, Jennison looking for the deflection. And we called it. What a perfectly executed corner. What a great little variation. You see it gets dumped off to the left to take the two runners out of the game and across the face of goal. And beautiful touch in by Corey Cox. Oh. North shake their heads. The players begin to walk off the field. Good game of hockey, and Kedron come from behind to take out the match against Norse. Three goals to two. What, what do you think happened? Yeah, definitely. I think a little bit of complacency in the second half, and maybe uh, it's, it's a pretty new thing for us to be out in front. Now, usually we're coming from behind, so I think the guys just need to know um, when to hold the ball and take that control, composure. Um, and, yeah, I think we really let it go in the end there. But, you know, a lot, a lot of good to come out of that game for us, um, especially from the first half, like you said. Yeah. Probably just let it get away from ourselves, went away from all the basics that we talked about um, and everything that we wanted to do in the first half, that short passing, the uh, leading for each other and running hard for each other. Uh, kudos to our defence. The boys played out, uh, you know, out of their skin that entire game. But, again, I think we, uh, we let a few opportunities slip and... Gave them a sniff and they took full advantage of it. So credit to Kedron. They, that was a hell of a game, you know. Listen, Jacob, uh, you left it late, but uh, you got away with the win. Yeah, we did leave it late. Um, it's a pretty difficult match. They stuck it to us and we probably didn't play as cleanly as we would have liked to. Um, but, you know, we did what we had to in the end. Yeah, so definitely a game of two halves. What did Matt say at halftime? Um, he just said, do the things that we've been doing throughout the rest of the season. Um, we kind of got stuck into playing a game that we didn't want to play. Um, and he just said, come out and do what we were told to do, really. Nothing too fancy. Yep. And obviously a couple of nice corners. Uh, yeah, we've been practising at, uh, at training, so it's amazing what happens when you actually practise things. They eventually come off, and it's pretty good to see it when it, when it happens, especially when you go up 3-2.